In today's video, I will show you how to get Windows NT4 running in VirtualBox with all the drivers. This video will also be useful for people already familiar with VirtualBox due to the specifics of the Windows NT4 image, which is not bootable compared to, say, Windows 2000. As you can see, the first step is to name your virtual machine and choose the NT4 ISO. Since this operating system might be a bit tricky to find online, I will also include links to an image and the three boot disks in the video description below. Here's the RAM, you can push it to 1GB if you want. Now this is the virtual disk, I will attach a used one, but you probably want to create something between 2 and 10GB in size. Once you've attached the virtual disk, you can finish with the wizard. The next step is to create a floppy drive, and you can do this by opening storage, then selecting the appropriate controller from the menu and adding a floppy drive with the icon next to the controller. A new window will open, choose disk 1, which is necessary in order to start the setup wizard. And this is everything you need in order to set up your virtual machine. Just as you start the VM, you need to press F12, then the letter F. This will ensure that the machine boots off disk 1. It will prompt you to insert disk 2 in the floppy drive, and then the setup wizard will load. First, it will show you the welcome screen, press enter to continue. On the next screen, you can choose whether you want setup to detect floppies and hard drives. Press enter, because you need to detect the CD-ROM controller. Now, you can insert disk 3, and then Windows NT will detect the CD-ROM device. As you can see, we've got the CD-ROM. There are no additional devices, so press Enter to continue. Now repeatedly tap on the page down key until you get the option to press F8 and agree to the license. The next screen is a summary of your choices up to now, so press Enter. Now this screen will probably be a bit different for you, since your virtual hard drive is newly created, but you should make sure you're installing to see Windows. Format your drive as NTFS and choose Quick Format if available. When you get to the examination screen, you probably want to press Escape and skip the exhaustive secondary examination. And now that you've completed stage 1, you should wait for setup to copy the first batch of files to your hard drive. Press Enter to reboot. Now press F12 and 1 to load from hard drive. To be honest, I'm a bit lazy to remove disk 3, so this is why I chose to do this. Now Windows NT will automatically load the appropriate configuration and it's time for stage 2. Alright, now you have to choose what components to install. Usually you will select typical install, but I will demonstrate what happens when you go with custom. Of course, you get to input your name and organization, which in my case is YouTube. That being said, you can subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. Here's the product key screen. Once you're done with that, you can type in a name for your virtual computer. There are certain character limitations for this. On the next screen, you will be asked for an admin password. You can skip that with the next button. I also recommend that you skip creating an emergency repair disk, as VirtualBox offers more advanced rollback technologies. Now here's what you get if you select Custom. This screen allows you to choose what components get installed with Windows NT, such as games and accessories. While NT4 was originally used for servers and work computers, nothing is stopping you from getting solitaire on here. Just click on details and select additional components that you want. When you are done selecting components, press next to load the network setup wizard. I won't install the networking just now, because I want to install the network drivers first. Afterwards, the anti-networking is much easier to set up. Windows NT will set up a few components, and then it will ask for a time zone. Use the drop-down and choose your time zone. When you're finished, you can close out of the dialog. Next is the display configuration. Later, we will install drivers for that, but for now, Windows NT detects a generic VGA adapter. Choose 800 by 600 and click on Test, then OK. At this stage, you can't just force a resolution, you have to pass through the testing screen. After that, it will allow you to apply the changes. And with that being said, you've finished with the NT setup. 
A few loading screens later, you will reboot into the desktop. I forgot something, that is the network config. Here's what you have to do. After having installed the guest editions, open control panel and click on network. Click on yes to install anti-networking. Click on next as VirtualBox provides a wired network connection. Then click on start search and next. Next again is the TCP IP protocol. Next, next, now you need the NT4 ISO image. Close out of that. Then you need to type in D colon backslash and click on continue to load the driver. Twice. Continue again, then yes for DHCP. Wait a second, then click on next. Next again. Another next, then finish. Yes to reboot, and you got the network. Good luck finding websites that support ODIE. But first, please subscribe to the channel.